Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconius Go. Today I'm talking about all the treasure chests that I've opened today. I opened a ton. Um, I had a lot of dragon eye sights that you get from level 5, level 10, level 15, and you can pull them very rare drop rates from Pillars of Abundance as well. So this magical chest, I got a lure, um, an increase in the, uh, I will get better spheres from, um, from Pillars of Abundance and also I got some Essence. Later on in the day without using a Dragon's Eye Sight I happened to stumble upon one and got another lure and 661 Essence so not that great. They give bonuses to that you can um, use to get better potions, get better um, spheres from Pillars of Abundance. You can also get artifacts at very rare drop rates I imagine. So we got um, Essence there, 1183, which is quite a few. And we've also got the, the potion there, which I was looking for, but there it's an icon that will stay on your screen and I will tap it now. Uh, you receive only the best potions from level from for your level from the Pillars of Abundance. The day en then ended really, really well. As you can see, I'm luring up um, three, well actually four lures there with a the Dragon Eye Sight, which means I can see the other lure. And I had this magical chest that came up on screen and it dropped an artifact and lure as well. And now this this artifact um, gives me the ability to put three, um, three creatures per day remotely into places. I got another magical chest and that had an orange emblem which I really needed to cast a spell and I got another orange potion that gives me best potions from um, the Pillars of Abundance. And with the same dragon's eyesight another chest appeared within range and this one only had a single silver lure but I really needed that for a magic spell because I needed to trade three into an orange one. Now what's really exciting is that the fact that there's one out of a hundred artifacts, which means there's a hundred to acquire. Now you can buy, I think there's like eight in the store, um, which are really expensive, but you can acquire them for free uh, by spinning. I'm not sure you can spin those ones for free. I imagine you probably can only purchase those ones, but the fact that you can still get these dropping in treasure chests is really exciting. Three remote placings a creature to arena or library per day. What that means is I can just, from the comfort of my home, see this library over here, which I can't actually access because that's actually in just no man's land, the library of air minions. I can now place um, a figure there. Let's put Frogismo there. And I have some arenas around me as well. I don't think there's another library. I'm gonna wait because I actually have full um, arenas already. So there's no point in adding another one. And uh, seven libraries. It's just gonna make it really easy. I've been traveling around all day in different locations and so many of the, because they're randomly scattered, they seem to hug areas that are actually um, accessible by walking and uh, by road. But uh, there's, I mean, there's about three times a day I've been literally from a, a, a millimeter away from being in range or something, but I just can't because there's a wall there. So that's going to be really, really helpful to accessing things. And the fact that I get to use it three times per day, that's going to be cool. So that's all the treasure chests. Let me know what you guys have been getting from chests. What's dropping for you? Have you got any artifacts? If you have, let me know in the comments below. And as, as always, any questions you have, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them. That's all for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. And hit subscribe to keep up to date with future information. That's all from me. See you soon.